and welcome to another episode of Irritation. Yay! Irritation! Today we're going to be talking about butter and its many wonderful useful uses and what people think, what people do with butter and how they use butter to make their lives butter. Today we're going to be talking about using the same word over and over to describe the actions and benefits of that chosen word to the point of where we see and hear the name of that word everywhere and by using that word to describe anything that sounds slightly familiar and equally humorous or annoying to that word. Today's word is butter. I'd butter get the butter out there. Butter is made from a cow. No, not the actual body of a cow. It is something produced by the cow. Now cows produce milk, which we can drink in a cappuccino. We can even put it on our cereal. Milk can turn into cream. After butter is made, you can do a lot of things with it. And butter can be put on your toast for breakfast. It's good for frying and putting on scones or scones. Plus, you can put it into spots to make them taste even more buttery. Grease the squeaky doors around the house. It can also be an excellent skin moisturizer so that your hair stay lovely and soft. People have been known to grease their barbecues with it to stop them from rusting. And they can put butter on cat's feet so that they don't run away from home. Cat, meow! But today we ask a few questions about butter and the different conversations that have been heard while discussing butter. Here is a large list of things that have been said about butter. Butterfly! Matilda, here's another one, butter bean. I know where butter's been, there it goes again, it's flying away. Let's leave it sit there for a couple of months and then we can come back here. We can pick it up, we'll know exactly where it's been. What about the butter snap? Yes, I know how to make butter snap. You've got to freeze it first for about two years. Have a battle.
Together we will stand and grow a mother's hand strong now. 